Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Does my head look uneven to you? Like, what's that noise? Huh? Does, do you not think it goes like this? <laughs> Are we all just seeing that? Why does my head look uneven? Let's try balance it out. Are we all seeing that? Why does my head look uneven? Maybe it's my glasses. My glasses are uneven. No. Okay, right, we've just got to get going. It is now. Oh. My room is such a mess. This is not ideal for this video. So it is now quarter to five, and I've been meaning to start this all day. So if you didn't guess from the title of the video, I'm doing a pack with me because I can't even believe... I can't even believe I'm saying this, but I came home for four weeks for Easter. Six months later, I'm moving back to uni, guys. <laughs> Six months. Um, this, not even this time. So, um, today is... Oh, God, there's a little bug. Sorry, I'm so distracted. Today is the... Today's Thursday, the 3rd of September, and I am moving back to uni on the 9th. So it's a little bit of time, but between now and then, I've got work, I've got saying goodbye to people, I've got hairdressers, I've got things like that. And today, I was like, today we'll start, because like Elena brilliantly pointed out, then I've just got to say, I've just got to finish packing rather than I've got to start packing, which is definitely, definitely better, because I hate starting things. So we're going to start packing today, and I'm just going to come and show you now what I'm planning on packing. Oh my God, there's stuff everywhere. I'm the worst YouTuber ever. Okay, so for those of you who didn't know, <laughs> I'll show you now. I'll give you the full the full view. When I came home for uni from uni, I didn't plan on being back this long, obviously. So we put all of my clothes in this picnic blanket. It's not really. It's um like a wardrobe here. This is all my stuff. Wow, so not tidy. And my plan for today is to pack all of my clothes um, and everything in here that I'm not going to wear again um, in these suitcases. And then, I mean, to be fair, I'm not like packing, like cooking and stuff because all of that stuff stayed there. I'm just, it's literally just packing clothes. And so the only packing I've done so far is this. And this huge Primark bag is full of things that we, and by we I mean I, have bought new for either myself or the flat. I mean, <laughs> considering I have no money, I'm not sure where all this new stuff's come from, but hey ho, we move. So that's the plan for today. And to be fair, I want to be done by six because, um, yeah, it's not even tidy in here. So I'm just quickly first going to tidy up and then we will... Going. Where can I put you? We can put you here. Right. right, I'll see you in a sec when I've tidied. So I've literally just tidied up in here and I've just got my two suitcases down, as you've just seen. Um, this is the world's oldest suitcase. I really need a new one. And I was going to get one when I went on holiday this summer, but guess what? We never went. Um, so, yes, I'm trying to think, where's the best place to put you where you would have all the angles? Also... I know this is completely unrelated to packing, but can we just talk about my skin? Like, since the last time I vlogged and I said it was bad, it's only got worse. And it's all around here. I'm starting to think this is from the masks. Guys, I'm seriously thinking that is what this is. So, back to start unpacking. But let's firstly talk about these boxes, which I got from Poundland. They're so good. They're like... So, I don't know if you saw it earlier, but these boxes were like on each shelf of my um wardrobe because i like to file fold 
So if any of you don't know about Marie Kondo, she file fold. I'm really likely to lose my words. File folds things, which means they stand up basically. And doing that on showers is a nightmare. So I bought these for literally one pound each. These um, what do I call them before? Like basket? What do I call them a basket? They're a bit like I just use it like a drawer, which is so clever. Like if you ever have shelves but you really want drawers, just buy things like this with the handles. You, I literally just pull it out like it's a drawer. And it means that I can literally file, I've, I mean, I've just tipped it up now, but everything's file folded. And the best thing about this is, is when you're packing like this, it just goes straight into your suitcase like this. And then, like, when, if I ever have to live out of a suitcase, like, if I come home for a week, I don't have to unpack because I can literally see everything just laid out. So I'm actually obsessed. And if... If any of you haven't seen the Netflix show, is it called that like Marie Kondo tidying up? Marie Kondo. It's not called the magic of tidying up, is it? It's called like tidy up with me or something. That oh, I'm obsessed with that program. So satisfying. So what I'm gonna do, my plan is, is everything that I'm not gonna wear for the next six days, I'm gonna pack. Um, and lately I've just been doing all my workouts in short. So I'm planning on packing all of this workout stuff bar one top. And I've got some others in the wash just so that I've got a few things to wear, but generally I wanna literally pack as much as I physically can. This little case here I usually use for dance stuff. So I might actually move this workout stuff over to the little case. But I'm gonna go and pack all of this and then I'll catch up with you when we're on the next one. Next little box of things, but oh, oh sorry, haven't mentioned the best thing about this. I use my little label maker. She's coming back with me. A little baby. A little baby. So this is what I mean. Literally, look at all of that. Like, it's so easy accessible. You, like, rather than piling it up so you can't see what's at the bottom, it's so easy to be like, okay, these leggings today, these leggings today, and just take it out. So I'm obsessed with having this in my drawers because it makes my life the easiest. And I'm obsessed with having this when I pack. So this is the Marie Kondo file fold. In fact... I can actually show you how to do it um, now, since I'm putting something away off of the um, error. So, so basically, get your, this is the file fold for a trouser. So fold it in half along the, is this like the crotch or the seam or whatever, like this. And then you want to fold this bit here like the crotch area so that it's in line with the rest of the trousers so like the trousers one sorry i just took those pockets in um you want to fold this bit over like this so then the trousers are in like one long line and then, I don't even know if you could see that. And then, um, you fold them in half. And then when you get to half, so by this time it should be looking like this. You just fold it into thirds. So a third, a third. And then, I mean, I'm not sure if these will work. These aren't the um, most sturdy trousers. And there you are. File fold stands upon its own. That's how I fold all of my things, and I'm just obsessed. I think it's the best. So, oh wow, that's that, and that's also going to go in here. No, it's not. Right, I'm going to put you in my actual suitcase. So now I'm going to go and get the rest of my trousers and pack those. <laughs> bottoms tops and hoodies that was pretty quick to be fair but just because they're already literally mostly all folded so i literally just have to transfer them over i've now got to put some of my leotards and stuff in here to be fair i don't really wear leotards so i never turn around i actually don't wear leotards dancing very much anymore but i still have them all from i did wear them a lot on foundation actually if you don't know like i did a foundation course before my degree which is a pretty common thing in dance and it was actually so good 
but I did wear them a lot on foundation and I used to obviously wear them when I was training um, during my A-levels and stuff like that. So I have a lot of them to go back in the case, but to be honest, I'm probably going to put most of them on Depop because I don't really wear them too much anymore. I just put just pref much prefer leggings. So I tend to have a lot of leggings and crop tops or sports bras to dance in. I think they're all in this Lululemon bag here. Um, yeah, there's quite a few. So I think I'm going to do those next. And then I'm not sure. So all I have in here that I currently wear is my work uniform and a couple of coats. The rest of that I never ever wear. And a lot of that's just from on my Depop and stuff that I'm trying to sell. And then... I've got a few new clothes hung over here, which I think I'm going to wear before I go back to uni. I've got lots of stuff air in here I would show you, but it's half of my pant drawer, so we won't expose you to that. No one needs to see that. And then I've got all of these clothes that are hung up, which, if I'm honest, a lot of these came down on hangers because if the space in the car, I might ask my dad if I can just take them back because half my clothes I have in drawers, which is all the stuff um, in my uh suitcases so i have a divan bed that has four drawers in it which i put stuff in i also have a um is it called a chest of drawers i have a chest of drawers and inside my wardrobe i have like one of those ikea four drawer square things so all of my stuff that's folded goes into drawers and then anything that isn't folded just goes on a hanger in my wardrobe and when I came back, because obviously I thought I was only coming back for a little bit I thought oh easiest thing grab it like when I left I left we literally got into college that day. It was lunchtime. We all got called into, I don't know, Studio 16. And then they basically just said, college is having to close. You're all going to have to go home. So I literally just grabbed all of my stuff, put it in the car and we left. Um, but I'm not sure on the, way, on the way back if we're going to be able to do that. It does make it a little bit difficult in terms of carrying it to the car. But then when you get there, you literally just have to hook it back on. God, I'm so grateful to actually have to move out properly again because I'm just thinking about how hard it's going to be carrying everything upstairs. Hmm, so lazy. To be fair, as well, since, since I've come home, I've bought so many clothes. Like, so many. i bought so many this summer, I'm not sure how I'm going to fit it all in. I'm actually kind of good because I've loved these drawers. Do you know what I might do? I might put these at the top of my wardrobe here. I have loads of piles of clothes and I actually think I'm going to put those... I think they'll just about fit up there. I just love them. And, and then when you get things down, rather than me like trying to reach up high to like get things off piles, I could just bring the whole thing down. I really love these. These are two, I can't get over this, was one pound from Poundland. And it served me so, so well. I really rate them. Really, really rate those. Okay, moving on, Liz. I already hate packing and I've only been doing it for about, what's the time now? <laughs> I've literally been doing it for half, uh, just 40 minutes and I already hate it. Okay, right, let's get these leotards away. I'll see you guys in a sec. I swear to God, I almost just snapped two of my nails off. I already can see that these are so long, they're not going to last. This is why they always tell me that they can't, I can't have my natural nails this long. If I lose on during this video and I disappear because I'm crying for an hour, you'll know why. No. I just can't believe that summer's actually over. Do you know what I mean? Even though, I mean, I've literally been home since, like, the second week of March. <laughs> um, I almost can't believe, like, it, it's gone... This has been, like, the slowest but fastest time that ever happened in the history of the universe, I swear. Like, on the one hand, oh, my days, I've been home for basically 20,000 years. But... On the other hand, I've been home for three seconds and I can't believe I'm already going back. <sighs> but actually, on a non-sarcastic note, I actually never thought I'd come home for six months. Like, when I moved out... Was it two years ago? Yeah. When I moved out this time two years ago, I never, ever thought I would come home. Because obviously, like, with the industry, like, you... Um, you even... That's not even straight. Okay. Anyways, with the industry, like, I always thought, oh, I'll graduate, I'm moving to London, like... I will never come home for this amount of time. I don't know, COVID just put everything in perspective, didn't it? Like, I just really, I don't know, I just never ever 
thought I would come home for like this amount of time and it has been like it has been super super nice um but obviously I'm ready to get back now to to this to the busy life do you know what else I never thought would be a thing but all these different masks um, but I'm going to leave my favourite ones out and then pack the rest so I don't forget them. Um, you know, everyone has their favourites. This is my personal fave. Because I can adjust these little straps. Has a little nose thing. Big fan of that one. I mean, these are so easy, but also they are disposable. And if anyone's going to dispose of these, like, not just like this, but cut both of them off, then they won't get attached to any birds or anything. So, um, yes, I'm back. It's dark, the ring light is on. I'm trying to desperately get some cohesive thoughts here. I'm tired. For someone who didn't have a lot to pack, this is taking far too long. This is my sort of jewellery and accessories pouch. It's from Oliver Bonus. And it's just got this cute little tassel on, which I severely appreciate. Um, and I always put things like this in um pouches when i travel just to keep it all in one place and just to keep it nice and safe can you see me now am i actual eyes um i like to have everything like have its own place so that i know where everything is i don't like lots of things being thrown into a random space oh my god it's making me think like making me me thinking about how many more times i've got to make up on while i'm home is making me think like it's really soon to going back to college time oh my god i'm like really excited to go back and like i haven't danced in a studio in so long and i haven't danced with people in so long and i haven't i don't know like seen all my friends and lived on my own in our little flat and all of this um yeah i can't believe like i'm excited about my little flat i'm excited for everything that comes with like being away but also i think i've got sorry also i think i've just got so used to being home like I don't know. I think it's going to be crazy moving out again. Like, even last summer, I never, I didn't come home for more than three days because I was working where I was living and it just made more sense for me to stay. Well, I don't know if it made more sense, but that's what happened. I stayed and I worked and I didn't really come home. Um, but yeah, it's going to be hard. <laughs> So I've just finished packing. Somehow I've managed to really pack this so very tightly. Look at that. Like all of that stuff just neatly fitted into all of my stuff in my drawers neatly fitted into that box. So I've got a box and two suitcases full of things. Um the only other things now that I'm left to pack really are my shoes and then all my plants. So this is this is Rick, my corn plant bit of a label there this is rick hi rick and rick's definitely coming back with me this here is Chaz. Chaz is my cheese plant look i just put this in today this little cane so she stands up nice and tall she's my favorite of all my plants um last but not least i'm gonna pack today is my college bag i'm just gonna put a few bits and bobs in but i thought i'll just show you guys what's in my college bag right now in case you were wondering so this is my college bag. It's this Steve Madden one, which I literally picked up from TK Maxx last year. It's so big. Um, it's made out of this like quilting material and I actually love this bag. Like I'm keeping this this year because I love it so much. I didn't think I would, like I just saw it and I was like, I'm not a yellow person at all. I'm not even a colour person. I'm so like neutrals, but I thought for college, I love that. So. As you can see, poking out the top, I have, this is the stuff, by the way, just to, just to look preface, this isn't what I usually keep in my college bag every day, this is just what, like, has been in my college bag while I've been home, and sort of, I need to properly pack and zip up, ready to travel back, so these are my two yoga blocks, I used to have four, but I left them at my old college, so, anyone who went to my sixth form college, if there's two purple yoga blocks there, they're mine, but yeah, these are the two that I have now. Um, and I use those for over splits. <laughs> Can we do no split at the minute? No, we can't. This is my roller, a standard foam roller. Good for sore muscles. This is my other roller. 
not something appropriate at all. You don't get any ideas. Um, this is my bag. This is my point shoe bag. These are my Gainer Mindens in my Gainer Minden bag. These, I can't even remember which ones they are, but they come in the green bag. Um, these are my split sole ballet shoes, which I use for like everyday ballet class. And these are these, which I just use for like, like if we did point three times, four times, we're not a ballet school. <laughs> Okay, so they're my f first ballet shoes. These are my brand new point shoes, which I bought at the beginning of first year. Um, and then I, they're still not even sewn. I need two days before second year. Um, so, they're, so these are my Grishkos, and these are the medium shank 5X. To be fair, I used to wear hard shank, but now we hardly do it. Like at MT College, you don't do that often. My feet aren't as strong. So they are much better for me, although I haven't actually used them yet, so I can't truly say. This is something that says Lydia's ballet shoes, which my old dance teacher from home got me. And I don't know what this has got in here. Like little like ouch pouches and stuff for my, that I might need for my point shoes. These are my tap shoes. These are the block, you can tell not a tapper. They're called 2AT Shockwave. Um, this other massage ball thing which is good for sitting on like for the glutes um and last but not least my fluffy pencil case which i lost for the majority of first year and found them very last day before we left oh my god he knew there was so much stuff in here and there you are that is everything in my amazing neon yellow college bag. Oh, and in the front pocket, there is my lanyard, which ironically I literally bought on the last week of college for an extra £15 because I lost my original lanyard. Like, I lose everything. And we don't even need this anymore this year. But anyway, I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter. I'm just going to have my dinner because it's cooked and I will finish this vlog later on. Wow, it is dark now. <sighs> okay she's all packed she's ready to go i've just had dinner and i've finished packing so i've got two bags two suitcases and a box so there we are it's not everything but i have packed and i hope you enjoyed this pack with me i can't really remember what i said or what i did quite honestly i feel like um where did this come from it's part of the my plant reconstruction from earlier I can't really remember what I said, but I'm actually really glad I've got that done. There really isn't much to do now. I'm shocked at myself because I'm not usually that productive. But in fairness, compared to people who are moving out for the first time, I didn't really have a lot of stuff to take. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, a bit different, but this begins my going back to uni, starting back at dance college, moving back to London, vlog bits. Um, so it's that time of year. It's September. My my Apple Watch is just busy telling me I haven't done I haven't moved today. Yes, okay, thank you. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. It would mean the world. And like always, if you've made it this far, congratulations. I really don't know how long this video is. I have no concept of how much I filmed at all. I feel like I've not filmed a lot, but any time I think that, it takes a ridiculously long time to edit. So we shall see. Um. Thought I haven't got a thumbnail. I was going to get one now. Um, right. I we really hope you liked the video, and if you want more content like this, if you want to see more back to uni, back to dance college, London style vlogs, subscribe because there's definitely more coming. And thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all next week, Sunday, ten a.m.